what if i told you the concept of rise of kingdoms was discussed on south park all the way back in november of 2014 would you believe me let's take a look allow me to explain the science behind micro pay premium gaming for years the concept behind gaming was simple you pay for the game and you enjoy so you're telling me back in the day you used to just buy a game and then get to play it that sounds like complete shit. with mobile apps we now have the ability to make games that are boring and stupid but if you pay for incentives you're rewarded no way see that's what i'm talking about a boring and stupid game that sounds sick especially if it's on your phone premium the meum is latin for not really oh okay i was always wondering why these games are free everybody knows that they're they're not really free okay so i'm glad we got that cleared up it's, it's the latin okay got it it's a simple cycle a never-ending loop based on rpgs explore collect spend improve but whereas those just use the concept of xp or experience points we've introduced the idea of micro paying with money 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 okay so here you can see the first evidence of them predicting rise of kingdoms in 2014 okay so explore remember when you first start the game you have to clear all the fog on the map then you collect resources and then you spend those resources to improve your city you have to get to city hall 25 you have to get tier 5 units and then you go into the lost kingdom you have to clear the fog again collect more resources and the cycle improves but the part that really emphasizes the the prediction of rise of kingdoms is if you look closely you can see multiple dollar signs at every single point of this wheel if you don't want to collect the resources in the open field you can just buy them in a bundle if you spend down all of your legendary commander sculptures well great news you can actually just buy more of them and sure you can get materials to upgrade your equipment for free but if you spend money you can actually improve them even more i don't know about you but to me this game sounds awesome everyone is doing freemium games are what's now and it's all just a lot of harmless fun you're in big trouble stanley can you explain to us how you managed to spend 489 dollars on a mobile app see what randy doesn't realize is he was in the middle of kvk and their pass was getting rallied and so if he didn't max purchase one of the bundles he wouldn't have had enough troops and gems in order to help defend against that pass rally randy is a free-to-play loser who's familiar with only the older games i'm sorry i didn't realize i spent that much you didn't realize what are Canadian coins? You buy Canadian coins so you have Canada. Stan, just because I make a good living with my music. So Canadian coins to buy Canada. Okay, so this sounds very familiar, right? In Rise of Kingdoms, we have multiple different currencies depending on the system that you're working on. So you can't spend money to buy legendary commander sculptures. No, 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 no. You spend money to buy gems and then you can use those gems on the wheel of fortune or during a holiday event so that way you can buy the holiday event specific items and exchange 20 of them for a single legendary commander sculpture it's a classic trick and this is why he didn't know how much money he was spending because they obfuscate the cost by having a bunch of different you know currencies and different values for different things and different exchange rates so instead of canada it's it's just gems in rise of kingdoms can you believe him he knew how much he was spending he knew he'd get in trouble but it didn't matter i hate mm. to say it but this is a lot like his grandpa <gasps> what do you mean dad's always had a gambling problem i'm gonna stop you right there randy gambling problem how could you possibly have a gambling problem with a mobile game a total addiction tendencies could he have somehow passed those demons down to stan well and you certainly have some of those problems too with drinking I had a problem, but I was able to stop. Now I only drink gluten-free beer and wine. But with Stan, I think there's some darkness inside him that doesn't allow him to stop. And this is how you get 1 billion power in Rise of Kingdoms. By not realizing how much you're spending and being addicted to the constant hits of dopamine that you get from progressing in the game. And you know, gambling addiction is very dangerous. So I'm really glad that games like this aren't able to be played by kids on their iPads. Like the fact that you have to be a certain age to enter into a casino is really good. So the fact that you also can't play these games on your phone for free whenever you want. Wait a minute. Kids can play these games? Surely this isn't going to be bad for the future generation, right? And so in conclusion, the successful freemium game is based on five principles. Entice the player with a simple game loop. 
Use lots of flashing chachings and compliments to make the player feel good about themselves. This is why every time you collect your resources in your city, it doesn't just increase the number in the corner. You see the gold just explode out of your gold nodes. Or when you open a gold chest in Rise of Kingdoms, it's not just a list of the things that you got. No, no, no. The things fly out of the chest and I land on the screen and there's a, a bunch of sparkles and particles and boom. Oh my God. You got, you got a purple star. Train the players to spend your fake currency. You see, there it is right there. That's the gem. Okay. We got fake current this is the gems right there. And even there's some gold right here with Canada coins on it. The trick is convincing people that the gems are worth something. Everyone who plays rise of kingdoms knows that gems are very valuable. This is why you gather them on the map. But if you turn off your phone and you go outside, what you'll find is that actually the gems in rise of kingdoms have no value. They literally are worth $0. Very tricky. Lilith. Very tricky. I can't go to the corner store and buy a new soda with my gems. Nope. Cause they're fake. They're worthless. Offer the players a way to spend real currency for your fake currency. So they'll forget they're spending money and make the game about waiting, but let the player pay not to wait. It's a surefire way to make lots of money. See, this is the big one, right? upgrading to tier five units could take you up to a year but only free to play losers are going to take that long you can just spend money and then not have to wait but great news there's going to be other things that you have to work on later that you still have to wait for like getting legendary commander sculptures for example you're going to have to wait in order to upgrade a commander now of course you can spend money to reduce that amount of time but then you have to wait until you get good equipment or you have to wait until you get good armaments i think rise of kingdoms might actually just be a waiting simulator with a casino overlaid on top of it no that that couldn't be that that that's ridiculous we understand micro paying but can't the game hidden inside the charade it just at least be fun no no it has to be just barely fun if the game was too fun then there would be no reason to micro pay in order to make it more fun see that's the problem with stupid games like this one you spend 60 dollars on it and then you just get to play it forever it's just fun in the box without any updates without any dlc without any pre-order bonuses without any microtransactions. you're telling me that this game is just fun it's just fun how are people supposed to spend six figures on this game if you can't even micro pay what a piece of shit this game is it's just fun right out of the box your checks of course for 10 million american dollars each so this is everyone is doing this everyone is doing it it's just the way things are going it's the way things are going well i guess if everyone's just paying 40 cents at a time it can't be that bad <laughs> surely we're only paying 40 cents at a time now what's funny is that this like i said came out in 2014 so back then they may have been referring to things like candy crush or clash of clans but now as you know people spend dozens if not hundreds or sometimes thousands or sometimes tens of thousands of dollars on games like rise of kingdoms and there's a small handful of people who have spent six figures and even seven figures yes you heard me correctly there are people in the world on planet earth who have spent seven figures on a free freemium <laughs> mobile game okay and that's why it is not really free oh hey guys you missed school today yeah i just wasn't feeling the best it's because he had kvk everybody knows that past seven was opening and he had to be there otherwise his alliance was going to kick him out sometimes you have to do what you have to do sometimes real world stuff has to be put on hold so that way you can play a video game on your phone that you're addicted to did you play the terrence and philip freemium game all day well yeah i was sick in bed what else was i gonna do how much money did you micropay today stan <laughs> nothing dude i bought like ten dollars worth of canada see classic phrase right there nothing i only spent like ten dollars so now we've convinced the player that i oh, only spending a couple of dollars is basically nothing and if you basically spend nothing every day well then after a year you've basically spent nothing all year except basically nothing every day for a year is equivalent to about four thousand dollars but check it out i unlocked a stadium in toronto you spent ten dollars and eight hours to unlock a stadium you guys is it that much dumber than video games you play yes <laughs> cartman just saying it how it is boys listen you can sit in bed all day and gather gems for eight hours and then eventually you might have enough gems to do a five spin on the wheel of fortune and dude guess what you might get an eight head pull and then you're only 600 sculptures away from finishing that commander which is basically the same thing as playing this game for eight hours and beating the game and enjoying the various levels environments music and challenges that you get 
from being stimulated in this 3D platformer. It's just like something to kill some time. Like Jimmy said, it's a cool way to zone out. Wait, wait, wait. Jimmy told you about this game? Jimmy told me about this game. Kenny, who told you about this game? Goo? Dude, what the... Huh. Sounds like Jimmy is the local influencer. Now see, South Park is drawing a parallel here between the freemium game and literal drug dealers, which sounds a little bit harsh, but if you think about it, a lot of times people who have a substance abuse problem, they don't realize how much they're spending on it and they don't realize that it's affecting their actual life they're missing important events in their life they're opting out of social activities so that way they can consume their substance of choice and just like those substances sometimes players who get uh, particularly invested in games like rise of kingdoms may exhibit some of those same uh symptoms we should say but surely surely it's fine for kids surely it's fine for kids right i, I mean come on it's free i mean this is it's a free game you know it's cartoon characters it's probably fine no big deal it is what it is you need to stop recommending that app to people look i just think it's a fabulous app that's all it's not a fabulous app it's fucking stupid <laughs> let me ask you something jimmy what happens on level two after you get the ontario nugget all right all right i never played it i stay away from this stuff you just push it on other people they pay me too who jimmy who pays you so Jimmy's the influencer Jimmy essentially is the sponsored content creator and hey I've been that guy as well I've played other games besides rise of kingdoms on this channel and I've been very clear with you guys that those are sponsored videos by the creators of those games now look obviously I'm being a little bit facetious here okay I like playing rise of kingdoms and surely if you're watching this video you probably like playing it too or at least you have played it in the past I mean that's probably why you're on this channel but it's just so interesting to me that South Park was able to identify this trend back in 2014 guys that was nine years ago nine years ago and yet somehow the same tactics continue to be hyper successful and the reason for that is because it works and there's no like direct victim here okay that's I think the biggest d differential between this and actual substance abuse but I do think that there are some repercussions to having games like this available to all people at all times and personally I think the problem is the random outcome of all the things that you can buy in this game I can't spend dollar bills for legendary commander sculptures I have to get them in some other way whether it's from this stupid wheel event that comes around or I can get them from a different wheel of fortune event or if I'm really desperate I can pay a premium for them in the VIP shop at 2000 gems a piece but even this is not spending dollars for legendary commander sculptures it's gems and you have to spend dollars to get gems and guess what is there a pack in the game that gives you 2000 gems no there isn't there is a five dollar bundle that gives you 1050 there's a ten dollar bundle which gives you 2200 which means you'll have some left over and the trend continues anyway guys I just thought this was interesting and funny and I wanted to share it with you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think of freemium games do you think that this is still good for the gaming industry nine years after South Park determined that it was probably a problem while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace